hi what is the value of k given that you have k multiplied by k multiplied by k plus k equals 10. from here k multiplied by k multiplied by k give us k to the power of 3 plus k equals 10. so from here we have k to the power of 3 plus k equals we can simplify this as 8 plus 2. so from here we have k to the power of 3 plus k equals we can have 8 to be in base 2 as 2 to the power of 3 plus 2. then let's group this together with this so we are going to have k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 as this plus let's take this as k minus these two as this then let's set everything to be equal to zero there's a difference of two keep when you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 always equals as when you have a minus b then multiply by a square plus a b plus b square so when you apply it here we are going to have k minus 2 multiplied by k square plus 2k plus b our b is 2 so we have it to be 2 square plus k minus 2 all in parentheses we set everything to be equal to 0 so from here k minus 2 is common so we have here to be k minus 2 as this the whole of these two here divided by k minus 2 we only have this left k square plus 2k plus 2 square will be 4 plus this divided by this we have it to be 1 we close it we set everything to be equal to 0 so from here we have k minus 2 in parentheses this will be k square plus 2k 4 plus 1 will give us 5 we close it we set everything to be equal to 0 Remember that when you have a b, a multiplied by b, that equals 0. This implies that a is either a equals 0 or we have your b to be equal to 0. For this expression to be equal to 0. So when we apply it here, it's either we have k minus 2 equals 0 or we have k square plus 2k plus 5 equals 0. From here we have k to be equals 2 as the first real solution. Then we can apply the quadratic formula to guess the value of this by using k to be equals minus b positive or negative square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So from here we have k to be equals minus b. Here is already 2. So here will be minus 2 positive or negative square root of 2 square minus 4 multiplied by a the coefficient of you no know, we have a to be the coefficient of k square 1 y b is the coefficient of k 2 y c equals 5 so from here we have 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 5 so divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So from here, we have k to be equals minus 2 positive or negative square root of 4. 4 times 1 is 4 times 4 times 1 is 4 times 5 will give us minus 20 divided by 2. So from here, we have k to be equals minus 2 positive or negative root of 4 minus 20 will give us minus 16 divided by 2 so we have k to be equals minus 2 positive or negative root of 16 times minus 1 divided by 2 16 times minus 1 will give us minus 16 remember when you have root of a times b equals root of a multiplied by root of b so from here, 
we have k to be equals minus 2 positive or negative root of 16 times root of minus 1 divided by 2. We have k to be equals minus 2 positive or negative root of 16 we give us 4 multiplied by roots of minus 1 equals i. So here will be multiplied by i divided by 2. So now from here, we have k to be equals this divided by this will be minus 2 divided by 2, positive or negative 4i divided by 2. So we have k to be equals 2 divided by 2, we, got, we have it to be minus 1, positive or negative. 2 here is 2, 2 here is 1. So we have here to be 2i. So finally, we have this to be complex solution where we have another real solution to be equals k equals 2 as this. So the meaning that we have here to be k1 and here will be k2 comma k3 where we have this to be positive minus 1 positive or negative root 2 2 i sorry. So now let us check. So now from here to check. We have k multiplied by k multiplied by k plus k equals 10. When k equals 2, so here will be 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2. Then it's going to give us 10. 2 times 2, 4 times 2 plus 2, then it's going to give us 10. 4 times 2 will give us 8, plus 2, which equals 10. So from here, we have 8 plus 2, 10 equals 10. So k equals to satisfy. And this is our real solution. Why, when k happens to be minus 1 plus 2i then is it going to satisfy k multiplied by k multiplied by k plus k equals 10 so now you can verify this if you are new here and you find this video interesting don't forget to share like comments and subscribe to our youtube channel for more maths tutorial videos bye bye